Wisconsin has some of the coolest establishments ever, but what makes them cooler? Oh crap, do that one over. Wisconsin has some of the coolest establishments, but what makes them even cooler is their history. All right, so we're at a super special place to me. Uh, we're at Weber's Wildlife, and it just happens to be owned by my mother. Say hi. Hi. This is Karen Stecker, <laughs> the owner of Weber's Wildlife here in Stainer, Wisconsin. So I just think it's really neat. So this, uh, Weber's Wildlife was established in what, 19? 1945. We're, it's been Weber's Wildlife for 75 years. Who else can say that? What they built was a little gas station. There was no 155 uh, road on one side here of our place. It was just a dirt road, which is now County C. He had gas pumps out there. And lo and behold, they made friends with uh, Daisy May. He named this doe Daisy May. My dad would put a red ribbon around the deer's neck to save it from being shot by a hunter. Daisy May had three fawns and that's how we started the deer farm. And after that, they gutted the garage and made it into a bar. And at that time, back in the 60s, there were still outhouses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There were outhouses out there. So was there. this bar the garage? <laughs> yeah, oh, this wow. bar was the garage. I didn't even know that. Okay, so let me break this down for you. We used to have a full-fledged petting zoo. So in the summer, I would literally have my friends over and not only would we pet the llamas and feed the deer, but we would be feeding our baby bears. And then in the winter, in March and April, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. You could come and bottle feed baby bears. And such a deal it was because most of the time, Everybody else was closing up and we had an enormous business. People would see it in the paper. Every year the Vilas County News would come out here and take pictures and every year uh, Channel 12 Rhinelander uh, came out and put us on TV and um, we'd go to Wausau and be on TV on, um, oh my gosh, what's the name of that? The little BMW. deers, no, the, the uh, bumper, bump, romper room. Or the romper room zoo. My mother would um, uh, curl our hair and then they came to pick us up to show the bear on TV on romper room in Wassa. And my mother, I can remember scolding us because our hair was all straight. And that was what year? Romper room. Um, I was like six, seven, eight years old. Okay, so like later 50s? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, uh, the bear business was spectacular here and we drew people from near and far and this place, there was like hardly a place to park. The bear were in a ring, we call it the playpen, with a slide and their pillows and heating pads and their toys. Does anybody remember Walt Disney's Gentle Ben? Why does Gentle Ben have uh, such a meaning to us here at Weber's? Well, he, Gentle Ben was a TV show and uh, back then that was pretty neat to be able to have sold our bear to someone who made him into Gentle Ben. So newsflash, Gentle Ben came from Saner, Wisconsin. Move over, birthplace of the snowmobile. Gentle <laughs> Ben is from Saner, Wisconsin. <laughs> you know, although there's not baby bears now here at Weber's Wildlife, it's still a lively crew. I don't know if you've been here lately, but we definitely got it going on. Um, what's Weber's now? Well, I no longer have the farm. And uh, life is good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so obligated. And um, I have a fire pit out there. I'm looking forward to 
entertaining people. We would have cookouts. People would bring their side dishes and we'd uh, toast at the end of the meal. And what was that toast? Friends, food, fun, fire, and farts. Duck, duck farts! farts. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know if you know what a duck fart is, comment below. You're gonna have to come and you're gonna have to check out this campfire for yourself. That's for sure. Although we don't have bears, there's you can still come in and talk about the history of Saner or Weber's or how it was back then. Um, to know where these establishments came from is just really cool to hear some of these stories. So, I mean, I think we definitely have a cool story here. Um, I don't know anybody who, you know, has one like it. And if you do, DM me, let's talk. Yeah. <laughs>